Celtic play throughout the month of November was not only being applauded, it was being compared with some of the best ever to occur in the NBA. Finishing the month with a record of 15 and two overall, the Celtics were in firm control of the Atlantic division. But the manner in which they outplayed their opponents created the most excitement. Added to the praise of Celtic play was the squad's spirit and unselfishness, which was gaining as much attention as any other attribute. Certainly great teams must have great players, but they must also have players that know the need to sacrifice and pass the ball, an ability the Celtics are qualified to write a textbook about. I think the Celtics' passing game uh, is so outstanding because it, it stems from an unselfish attitude uh, between our players, and I think that's both on the court and off the court. Camaraderie was becoming more than a factor for winning. It was developing into an existence of personal importance. Winning remained a priority, but in an effort to take advantage of success, enjoying the journey to a championship was recognized as part of the fun. As a result, the mood during practice at Hellenic College sometimes resembled that of schoolyard play. Enjoying success has always been a Celtic treasure. For if winning didn't matter, the Celtics wouldn't want to play.